Covering major news across San Diego. 10 minutes of nonstop news starts now. More than two dozen U.S. troops are dead after their helicopter was shot down by insurgents in Afghanistan. We have team coverage of the deadly attack on how local veterans are reacting to the news. We begin with ABC's Tom and Bradley in Washington, D.C. with how the attack went down. The Texas jury deciding punishment for convicted sex offender and polygamous leader Warren Jeffs is taking a day off after intense two-day proceedings. The same jury already found Jeffs guilty of sexually assaulting two of his underage wives. They claim Jeffs witnessed or performed more than 500 illegal polygamist marriages and committed six additional sexual assaults. Jeffs could get a maximum sentence of life in prison. A six-year-old girl is recovering tonight after being hit by a powerboat off Fiesta Island. It happened shortly before 3.30 this afternoon as the girl was swimming near the island's north shore. There are reports the girl had a cut on her arm and other unknown injuries. Her family took her to the hospital before lifeguards arrived. Today, the Obama administration told lawmakers they need to do a better job at tackling the deficit. Yesterday, Standard & Poor's downgraded the U.S. credit rating, blaming America's broken political system and the nation's fiscal plan. The children of our local servicemen and women are prepared for the upcoming school year, thanks to generous donors and Operation Homefront. Today, hundreds of kids and their parents lined up at the National Guard Armory in Curdy Mesa to get school supplies. Kids got to pick out their own backpack and fill it with everything they need for the upcoming school year, from binders and folders to markers and pencils. The volunteers got something out of it, too. These are military children. They didn't choose to join the military. They didn't choose to live in San Diego. They didn't choose if their dad or mom's overseas right now. So when we can give them that opportunity where they can have a choice, it's just outstanding. Today's event is one of 10 similar events hosted by Operation Homefront. Boeing opened its hangar doors in Everett, Washington to reveal the future of air travel. The 787 Dreamliner is made of carbon fiber and plastic composites, making it lighter and more fuel efficient. Other perks include larger windows and seats that recline from the bottom so you don't hit the person behind you. The plane will be used by all Nippon Airways, Japan's biggest airline. Speaking <laughs> of the friendly skies, things are looking very good here in Southern California. It has been very, very friendly. Everyone's favorite redhead would have been 100 years old today. Ever since we've been out in Hollywood, I've been waiting for you to try to get into the movies. What took you so long? I was lulling you into a false sense of security. <laughs> Hi, Lucy. <laughs> At a celebration today in Hollywood, Lucille Ball's daughter, Lucy Arnaz, said her mother's admirers shouldn't mourn because she had a great life and left an uplifting comedic legacy. Absolutely. Ball was born in 1911 in Jamestown, New York. She died in 1989 at the age of 77. Chargers fans got their football fix at Qualcomm Stadium today. Chargers! Chargers! The Chargers annual Fan Fest drew nearly 11,000 people. It was a special day to watch the team practice and take a look at the new players joining this season. It's exciting because you get a chance to really in the league. After practice, 2,000 lucky kids got to go onto the field and meet the players. An unwanted passenger caused quite a scare on board a flight out of Wisconsin. <laughs> Take a look. Yeah, that's a bird or possibly a bat that found its way onto a Delta Airlines jet early yesterday morning. Eventually, it flew into the back of the plane, but flight attendants never found it. That means no one ever figured out whether it was a bird or a bat. They never found it? No, nope, they never <laughs> found it, and I still can't uh -oh. tell uh -oh. what it was. Uh -oh. Until it starts to smell. Mm. 